Buenos dias, or I should say, buenas tardes. I am in Terona National Park in Colombia. It's on the north coast of the, of the country. And it's supposed to be a really beautiful park. So far, I'm, I'm seeing that. <laughs> so, earlier today I had a problem. So earlier today, my camera was in the bag on the way here. I was recording footage of the drive, you know, the payment process, whatever, etc. And uh, somehow the button got pressed while I was in my bag. Sorry. And uh, basically, the camera was rolling in my bag, <laughs> and all the footage, like I used up five hours worth of footage, and the battery died. Yeah, sounds weird, right? I don't know how that happened, but basically um, I had to reformat the card inside the camera, so because <clears throat> I can't come back here again, you know, so I have to have to reformat the, the card in order to be able to film this. Anyways, it's a pain in the ass, but I'm here now, and uh, we're just not going to see the beginning, and I can just tell you guys about it, what, I, what the process was to get in. So, um, we just got here, it's like 4, 4 p.m. And you're probably thinking, Bachi, what the hell's wrong with you? You're going into a national park. That's hours and hours of hiking to get anywhere, and you're going at 4 p.m. You're nuts. Yes, I am nuts. But, it's a two hour hike from where I am now, through the jungle. Jungle. And uh, then there's um, a beach, and hello, hello. And they have uh, hammocks where you can rent. So, hi. So they have hammocks you can rent, and they're pretty cheap. So, hello, hello. hello. So they have uh, hammocks you can rent. They're, I think they're 12,000 pesos, or 20,000 pesos or something. Like, basically $12 Canadian um, for the night. And you can you can camp a couple different ways. You can, you can rent a tent if you want. Um, or you can do the hammock thing. And there's two different hammock configurations. There's um, above ground and then below ground. Hello. Hello. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm hiking into the... Into here. It'll probably be dark by the time I get there. But then we'll... Uh, We'll get, in the, uh, we'll get a hammock and we'll be able to sleep and hopefully charge our batteries and stuff for, for tomorrow. And the plan is just to get up really early and just, you know, grind the day out. Hi. Hi. So yeah, as you can see, I'm the only person going into the forest. <laughs> Everyone else is coming out. Because um, everyone's done their hikes for the day. And they're all coming out. Holy shit. Guys, look at this. out here there's the ocean we're not far, not far. Oh, fuck. Oh. gotta watch out for everything basically that is here all right first blood first blood look at this holy shit. Am I, uh, am I in an Indiana Jones film here, or am I, am I in Tehrona National Park? <laughs> this is crazy. Look at the lizard, right there on the rock. See if he'll get him to move here. Watch this. See him? There he is. Oh. Bet you there's some cool caves in here. But, uh, I don't think most people go off this path. I think you're allowed to. I don't think you have to stay on the path, but I think it's just advisable to be safer. And... <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Yeah, there's probably countless caves systems here. I wonder if they actually do cave exploration. Hola, buenas. Buenas, buenas. Hola. Cactuses. Those aren't just for deserts. They have them in the jungle too. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna give you guys some info since we had to reformat the card and we're missing all the beginning stuff uh, that I filmed. Entrance to the park is 68,000 Colombian pesos. And then if you're driving a scooter like I am, um, it's 5,000 to park. And also it's that includes insurance per day. So it's 10,000 for insurance and for parking for the day. Hola, buenas. Hola. So yeah, um, yeah, so uh, and that includes insurance and you get, I changed my mind halfway through, so I got two wristbands, but you're supposed to only get one wristband. Hola, hola, buenas. So yeah, you're only supposed to get one wristband plus the park entry, which is the green one. Uh, you can hear the ocean, it's right here. Oh, and you can feel the breeze too coming through. It's nice stifling in here. As you can see, I'm just dripping. But I packed well, I have got food, water. I'll show you guys, I'm gonna take a break, what I packed. So uh, I think it's a nice little, uh, nice little packing, uh, packing itinerary. So I said this is a two hour hike to get to which is called um, San San Cabo Juan Beach or San Cabo San Juan Cabo Beach, Cabo San Juan. Boom, there it is. Um, it's supposed to be a really, really beautiful beach. Um, they said it's a two-hour hike. I hike fast, and like like a lot of people, I, I like I move, so it should be an hour and a half probably for me. So it should be okay. Wow, look at this view. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, oh man, let's take a look here. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Hmm. I think we maybe uh, we take a break right down there. Let's we'll see if we can get down there and uh, have a snack, drink some water. So I didn't find a way down. It's all bramble and cactus. Um, I don't want to climb through that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did ask the guy though, and uh, he said that you have to get there by horse or boat or something. So I don't have a horse. I think we're getting closer and closer to the water. Yeah, I think we might actually be able to hit the water here. Look, it's Wilson's brother. He lives here. Holy crap, guys, look at that. Oh my god, that is just something else. I'm getting excited now. Thumbnail. Wow, that is insane. I feel like I just started the hike and this is what I'm seeing already. I'm blown away right now. Look at this. Not one person on the beach either. That's crazy. And the bugs are eating me alive. All right, into the jungle we go. So apparently, you can get to the beach. Holy crap, huge smudge on the camera. Line. All right, so apparently you can get to uh, the beach through the jungle here. I don't have to actually climb down the rocks. I can, just heard something moving there. Um, you, can, you can get there. There's a little uh, red flag that pokes out and you can, you can walk right out to the beach. And there was no one there for some reason. It's kind of weird. Expect there to be at least one person on the beach, but not one person. Here's the entrance to the beach, right here. Um, red flag, no swimming. But 
We are definitely going to go check it out either way. It's just a line for... Wow. Crazy. All right, guys, so off the beaten path here. Whoa, look at that wave, wave swell. Um, there's a little bit of rock here. Someone had some eggs here. So this is a spot that people have been before, but it's definitely not your common hiking part. Let's see if we can see how high we can get up here. Look at this rock, just balancing. Wow, this is breathtaking guys, holy crap. Take a look. Okay, we made it on top of this rock. All right, this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at this. Damn, son. So a few guys are asking me, is it worth it? The 68,000 Colombian pesos entry fee? Hell yeah, this is amazing. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, time for a little uh, itinerary. See what we got here. So we got, obviously we got some water. I've got a bag of fruit. I've got grapes. Banana, we got an avocado here, um, a couple grenadines. I'll eat one later. If you guys don't know what a grenadine is, I'll show you guys what it is. It's pretty, pretty good fruit. We've got some moisturizer, we're not gonna eat that. We've got liquid chocolate because it's all melted from being inside the moto. We got another bottle of water. We've got a couple of these meat sticks. I thought I'd try them out. They are all over every supermarket in Colombia. Uh, we've got some chocolate milk. I think I have two of these. This is really good chocolate milk, by the way, guys. If you come to Columbia, Alpine by Alpina. It's my favorite. It's really, really good. What else we got in here? Some soap. I don't know. Just a bunch of deodorant. Um, a towel. Uh, yeah, mostly a fruit. I packed a lot of fruit because I like eating fruit. You know, um, it keeps me uh, keeps me fueled when I'm when I'm traveling. Oh, and we got a big carton of milk here. You know, for protein, etc. So yeah, hydration time. So as you guys can see, I'm just literally just sitting on the rock. Sun is up there, coming down a bit. I still have a bit of time before it uh, goes down all the way. Hmm. Wow. Delicious. I gotta keep trucking on, but somewhere that way. But I really don't wanna leave this spot. Some uh, coconuts down there, it looks like. Just babies though. Nothing you could, uh, nothing you could pick off the tree, I don't think. All right, I think we keep moving now. A little snack break over, let's, uh, let's keep going.
can always use nature as your gym. Remember that. Those. Are those coconuts? Those are coconuts up there. Look at this. This looks like some kind of nest. Definitely some kind of nest. Right off the trail here, too. Hmm. Bird's nest or something, maybe? Or maybe it's a flying tarantula. Coconuts everywhere. See all these coconuts. Look. Oh my god, look at this. Holy sh. Look what I just discovered. Holy crap, look at this, guys. Leaf cutter ants. Look at them go. There's a huge line of them. Look at them go. Wow. See, little things like this you would never, you would never notice or see. Let's, uh, let's take a look at them up close here. Look at them go. Wow. Real army ants right here. Well, not army ants, but, you know, leaf cutter ants. And they keep going all the way up into their nest, or I guess. Look at them going up the rock. Wow. Up the tree branch up there and into the trees. Wow, amazing. Very, very cool to see this. Look at them go. What do they do? They just chop it all up and eat it, or what? Ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ancient roots of this tree. Look at this, it's amazing. Uh, more leaf cutter ants. Oh, I just stepped on them. There they go. Look at this beautiful tree. Wow. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, oh, look at this. Look at them all go. They're smart, these leaf cutter ants. They found a spot where people aren't going to step, which is on the side of this roof. Protected area. Hmm. Ants are smarter than you guys think. This is weird. Damn, those are some strong ass uh, sticks. Strong wood right there. Look at this. What the hell is this? Looks like a fucking throne. Radagast the Brown's throne. I bet you I could climb up that. It's like a rope. Crazy. Some Indiana Jones shit out here. Oh no, I hear crickets. It's always a race for the sun with me. Always a race for the sun. For daylight. Osted Esta Aki, you are here. I think we're going this way, right? Ah yeah, see Cabo San Juan. Wow, that's far. I wonder if I have to walk. I wonder how long that is, the distance. That's where I gotta go. Oh, let's go. We better keep moving. Okay, here we go. Oh. These aren't rocks. These are sandbags. Okay, guys, we see monkeys. There are monkeys. I don't know if you can see them up in the trees running. Oh, there's one right there and he's peeing right now. He just missed me. Not even joking. He literally tried to pee on me. Little bastard. Look at them go. Look at them go. Look at them, look at them. Holy sh**. Oh, they're peeing like crazy. Look at this, it's like raining. Ha, <laughs> these bastards. They probably know I'm here too. Monkeys are the kind of creatures that do this shit on purpose. Oh. He's over there. Oh, he just jumped to that tree. 
Look at them go. Look at these bastards, there's so many of them. Oh, look, it's right there. I wonder if he'll come down here. This little guy. Oh, there's one right, right there. Look, look how close he is. Oh. He's eating something. There he goes. Hey, oh, he's coming over here. Hey. That's a leaf. You don't want that. Peeing. Son of a bitch. Just peed on my head. Literally just peed on my head. Alright guys, it's time. I claim the throne, my rightful throne as the monkey king. Banana. <laughs> I wonder if they see it or not. I wonder, oh look at that guy, he just jumped. Ooh, what do I got? <laughs> they're going crazy. They're all coming down. They're, they're all coming down closer because they see the banana. Uh oh, uh oh. They can't resist bananas. Monkeys love bananas. Uh oh, I'm in danger. Come here. I'm the banana king. Yeah. Monkey king. Here. Donkey here. Oh yeah. Monkeys love bananas. Hey, come here. Oh, he's scared. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, holy sh**. <laughs> That's awesome. There you go, enjoy. Oh, uh oh. This guy is, this guy is, oh look at that, he dropped the peel. How is that, is that good? <laughs> okay. Bugs. <laughs> More and more coming. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on. Here. There you go. <laughs> I'm the monkey king. <laughs> hey, tu casa? Ah, bonita. Hey. Hey, tu nombre? Freo. Freo, hello. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> no carne. Hey. <laughs> Cabo San Juan, this way? Ah, okay, gracias, amigo. Camisar, eh, quante minutos? 15, más o menos, 15, 20. Okay. 15 okay, gracias, amigo. Buen día. There's a lot of coconuts up here. Everywhere. You can see them. Just sitting at the top of these trees. Tons and tons and tons of them. No shortage of them, that's for sure. It's not like I would be stealing from the forest. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my own coconut. I'm gonna harvest my own coconut. Oh, wow. Look at that. Even with the sun going down, this is beautiful. Let's take the uh, let's take the scenic route. Let's walk along the beach. Pretty sure we can. Holy! Oh wow! Sand in my uh, shoes already. <laughs> Look at this. Look 
This is probably the most beautiful beach I've ever seen, besides in uh, Thailand. So yeah, we're heading to Cabo San Juan, which is one of the beaches here on, in this park. Um, it's one of the beaches that you can you can actually camp near or on with a hammock. And look at all these coconuts. Look at all these coconuts, man. Ah, thought I'd get one. Guys, I was walking and I almost stepped on this. Look at this. Leaf cutter ants. Huge colony of them. Check this out. Them. So I just came from that path over there and you saw the ants go into the forest. Look, look at them come out here. Still going strong. Look at that, holy crap. You can imagine how many strong are in one colony. Look, look at that, they go up the tree over there. I don't know if you guys can see, but that tree is just crawling with ants. Insane. Oh man. Look how close these are. Now they're just teasing me. Damn, that's so close. If I had a stick, a big stick, I could bash them down. Damn. It's okay, we'll find some, we'll find some. So you're probably wondering how the bugs are. Um, if you stand still, they're really bad. If you're moving, they don't bite you at all, actually. They can't land on you if you're moving. Or they have a hard time, at least. Um, <clears throat> when you stand still, though, they eat you alive. Rip you to shreds. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bug spray, long pants, things like that. I'm glad it didn't work out today, because this is a workout in itself. So a uh, little uh, fun fact about me, guys. So I was in the uh, military for four years, Canadian reserves. Um, so like part-time basically, not uh, full-time. And uh, one of the things they issue to you when you get your basic kit is um, like talcum powder, or like gold bond medicated powder. And there's a reason for that. Cause when you're walking long distances and you're, you're sweating, Man, you get you get chafed, and uh, let me tell you, I didn't pack my uh, my gold bond, so the chafage is real. <laughs> it's real. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that later. What's uh, what's with this? Is this like a this like a meme or something that I'm that I'm missing out on here? It's like people just putting sticks underneath big ass rocks as a joke, because like that's holding up the rock. <laughs> it's funny. I think it's kind of hilarious, but is it like a thing? Look at that cave, what the f***? Look at that shit. That's where Gollum lives. Gollum's in there. Alright guys. I know I'm getting close now because I hear the ocean again. I hear the waves crashing and uh, it's a good sign because where we're supposed to be staying is right on the beach apparently. So, what the hell is this? What are these? Oh! Well, I just slipped in horse shit, right? Uh, what the fuck are these? Hmm. Random ass fruits. 
this giant ass tree. Guessing they're not edible, otherwise they wouldn't be on the tree. There'd be well, there'd be a lot of them missing, right? Is that is that good logic? So when they say uh, coconuts kill more people a year than sharks, it's starting to make sense now. They are literally everywhere, all over the place. And I can imagine they fall a lot. You can see them all on the floor here. So yeah. Wow, look at this. Is that a woodpecker? Look at that guy. Can you guys see him? It's beautiful. Wow, look at the red on his head. Oh, there he goes. I scared him away. Gorgeous bird. Gorgeous, gorgeous bird. It's a bit of a lineup over there, so let's check out the, uh, the area. Look at that, it's beautiful. Crazy. Beautiful. All right, guys, we just got some shockingly alarming bad news. I asked her if they had anything available in terms of hammocks or tents, and they have nothing available. Um, they have nothing available, and it's getting dark, so we have to go to the next the previous campsite over and see if we can uh, get something there and if that's full then I don't know what I'm going to do because I did not prepare for this <laughs> might have to splurge and get something bigger hopefully not but uh, yeah it really sucks yeah cuz uh, I should just bring my own hammock honestly I should just travel with a with a hammock because uh, you never know when you need to camp, like right now. Yeah, if I had a uh, if I had a hammock just in my backpack, I could pretty much put it in between any of these trees here, and just on the beach, and just do my own thing. But uh, yeah, that's an investment for the future for sure. Okay, we're making our way back still to the previous campsite we already passed because this the one we went to is actually full so we're just backtracking now and uh, hoping the sun doesn't go down and hopefully they have something available at this one because if there isn't anything available at this next one we might be fucked. we might have to hike all the way back it's two hours of hike in the dark through the jungle <laughs> and then we have to like take the bike leave the park i think if you leave the park you have to you have to pay an entrance fee again if you leave so pretty much not a good thing if we leave so we'd have to leave find a hostel somewhere probably yeah that would be not a fun night it's crazy when you're hiking during the day and you hike at night everything looks completely different even though it's exactly the same it's just dark it's crazy, like it actually, it really fucks with you, so you gotta be careful. Ugh. Fuck, it's getting really dark. I gotta get back. As of right now, we are legitimately stranded in the jungle. So, yeah. All right, I think we're just about here. Let's hope they have something. Oh, please, please have something. I really don't want to have to walk two hours back through all the jungle. Holy shit, that's gonna suck. The jungle comes alive at night, so uh, if you're ever stuck in the jungle, you're better off during the day, that's for sure. At night, it just 
just comes alive. Everything just crawls. The floor just moves, crawls. It's crazy. I don't know if you guys ever watched uh, Survivor Man with Les Stroud. It's a Canadian guy. And he makes some pretty awesome survival uh, documentaries where he stays out in the woods for woods, beach, whatever, you know, out in the um, Arctic, you name it. Seven days, no food, no shelter. He builds it all himself. I just almost got hit with a, by a bat in the face. They're all over the place. Look at them. Holy sh**. Are they dive bombing me? All right, back to this beach. Let's hope we get something where we can stay out here somewhere. Uh, I hope so. You know, if I was allowed, I would just, I would literally just make a shelter and make a fire and just chill on the beach. If you have a fire, like the bugs aren't that bad. They don't like to the smoke, so. <sighs> Almost there, I see the lights. Hola, buenas. Uh, do you have um, tents or hammock? A uh, hammock or tent? No, no. Do you know where uh, Donde is camping? Sí, ya 20 minutos. 20 minutos? Sí. Okay, gracias. No, uh, no, aquí? No? No, aquí no. Ah, okay, okay, gracias. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm faced with two directions here and it is pitch black in here. Holy sh a little freaky. I'm never going this way. Shit. Twenty five per cent battery. Twenty five per cent battery and no signal, again. We gotta find our way out of here. Walking through all kinds of mud, because I can't see where I'm going. I see light. I see a light, that's a good sign. What is this? Okay, I remember this. This is a dry riverbed, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's keep going. Siete? Jamie? Siete está ocupada, cierto? Uh, okay. Well, wow. yeah, that's not bad. These cabins are 60,000 Colombian pesos. And the hammocks are. Or, quanto hammock? 30? Ah, okay. 30? Okay. Not too bad. Cuidado ahí. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. Encender la luz. Oh, it's a light. Okay. Yeah, it changed.